and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as a 4 kids at 147 and I'm on part three of four um, of my fan sales haul. Um, so as I've said in previous videos, they have been kind enough to send me items to review um, for you guys. Uh, they do let me choose, so I do choose things I want to do and things that I like. Um, and I'm also of course, going to give you an honest opinion on my views of them as I unbox them and when, of course, they're done. Um, but for this one, or for this series um, of four, I have chosen different parts of their website to look at um, to choose items. Sort of gives a little bit of a different twist on things. So for the section this time and next time, um, it's the new in 2020 section. Um, so I thought they, they've they recently started putting up, or at least I found it's only recent, um, a category that is what's new. So this one's category is what I call classes sort of off the canvas. Um, so it's diamond painting things, but they're not just diamond painting pictures. So these are the items I've chosen for this. So we'll start with the big one that's peeking out from the bottom. Um, this one did seem to be a little squished um, in, the, in the box, but it already seems to have straightened out. Um, but this one is a leather mural. Um, I did actually think it would be thicker, but it's not. Um, but say it did get a couple of bends around my storage box. I've not had it out the bag. This is the first time I've had it out the bag. But it does seem to be flattening out. Oh, I'm like that. What keeps get that kept getting caught underneath it? I wonder why it wasn't going really flat. Um, but yeah, it does seem to be going flatter. So I'll of course report back if there's any problems. Um, but yeah, this is. It comes with these hooks. Let me have a look, how do these work? Okay, so you actually get some full on hooks, and I think, according to the picture, it looks like they grip onto here, and then you'd pinch her, pinch her them shut, um, and then you can hook on the wire so that you can hang it up. So, can you see these? They're like little, okay, quite pretty to be fair. They look like little handbags, um, but they've actually got little pincers that will pinch onto the leather. I'm not even sure if the camera's gonna catch that properly. Um, but they will sort of pinch into the leather um, to give a hook for you to then put the chain on. So you do get all that so that you can fix it to the wall in that way if you want. Or of course you could use this for multiple other things, but I thought you looked I thought it looked quite good. You take the plastic cover off, can you see it a lot better then, can't you? Um, but yeah, this isn't on a normal canvas, this is on leather. Oh, actually, I've just noticed, it does actually have a mark where you put those hooks. So it has that on each side for you to pop those hooks into. I like it when it tells you where to put them, it means they go on straight. Um, Okay, so then in the baggie with the rest of this, we've got a basic toolkit. So we've got your pen, we've got your wax, we've got your boat, and we've got baggies with this one. And now this is sort of a special drill. It's more the blingy drill, the crystal bling. So we do have quite a few, and we do have one in a bag, which is the number nine. Um, which is red and that is for here I can see that already it's in the middle um, and then we have some of your basic silver we have some whites that are like an AB white so they've actually got an extra iridescent type shine to them oh the blue are like iridescent pearly as well rather than being rhinestones uh, then we've got some red rhinestones, some yellow rhinestones. Uh, we've got some little overly ones. Well, not quite overly, are they? Um, and then we sort of a ready orange, again with an iridescent type coating. 
Uh, these ones are definitely orange and they're longer. Longer shapes and then, oh, so they're the, they're the weird, I don't know if you've seen these before, I have had them in ones before. So they've sort of got um, a circle in the middle and then little bits around the side. They're quite a nice look, to be fair. Um, so yeah, you get all of those diamonds with it, of course, to do it. Of course, it is a partial. Most of the crystal ones are. Um, but it is good coverage. So if I just peel back this again, just it makes the glare go away for you guys. But you can see there is a lot of coverage. So yes, this turquoisey bit isn't coverage here. Um, but you do get some detail around the frame and then pretty much apart from the eyes and a little bit around his mouth pretty much all of the wolf you get to do and then of course more detail around the frame I think that one will settle down lovely with it being like a soft leather so that's oh, oh I put that on the wrong way you know when you put these clear covers on and sometimes they come off easy and sometimes they don't I forget that they have a better way to put them on so okay let me turn that round and then try and make sure I get to the bottom okay that that's the way it should have gone <laughs> I forget these things teach me to take the whole cover off um, okay, so price of that one, let me open up my phone again, so that one was $5.99, which I think is not bad. Oh, actually, what size is it? So, it is 22 and a half, yeah, 22 and a half across, this is centimetres, um, and just under 30 centimetres tall, um, and it's on, as I say, like a soft leather has got an imprint of that case but i think that'll disappear um because it did have a lot more bends from shipping but they seem to have gone and as i'm filming this video that shipping was like this morning so it's it's not had loads of time to settle so that's the first off the canvas um second one now these are a little bit different so these are greeting card pendants is what they call them um what i call them is gift tags um gift tags for presents they were 2.99 for 10 so let me get in it so toolkit wise we get baggies again uh wax boat pen and then these are the gift tags. They're in pretty good nick. Possibly a little bit, a little bit out of sorts for the big one. Uh, but the big one is a cake. Then we have a balloon, a sweetie, another sweetie, another balloon. We've got a couple of lollipops. We've got a cake, a hat, and a present. I thought they were quite sweet for something a little bit different to do a little bit fun to do we have got some um, string or rope for using to tie those up if you want and then of course we have diamonds so these do not have DMC numbers and it looks like we have a mixture in here so all the numbers are on the packets, so this is your number one, which I can already see on the cupcake and on the present. So I'd probably do these in bulk. Okay, so we have red in normal drills, blue, another red or a pinky red. It looks like 666 that one. Uh, we've got some pink, we've got some orange. Then we do have silver rhinestones. Then we go back to green normal diamonds. Then we have a yellow or a paler yellow rhinestone. Then we've got normal blue and normal yellow. And then we do have a couple that are sort of 
the little bit bigger diamonds and um, so we have some pink circles which are a little bit bigger than normal I'm seeing those on the birthday cake and the cupcake and the party hat so it's on a few different ones and then these are like white ones but they're bigger diamonds um, I'm seeing those on the present, the cupcake oh there is one on the hat they're on the sweets oh those other ones are on the sweets as well there are, no they're not on the cake they're on the lollipops so a little bit of variety there a little bit of mixing drills and rhinestones but I thought they'd just be a little bit of fun and sometimes I just like to sit there with a project that's a little bit of fun uh, I do tend to just do them um, in number order these so I will they do come with a clear coating I'll just sort of do the number ones on every one and then do the number twos and by the time you get to 12 they're all done or you could do them separately so you could kit them up like a kit and do them separately but they are thick card they are definitely thick card but that's something a little bit different if you know somebody who's got a birthday coming up and you maybe want to jazz up their gifts 2 99 that's not bad okay and then lastly this is the last sort of off the canvas but this one is also sort of on the canvas you'll see what I mean um, so this one is 4 99 and this one can get it out oh so it is all round up together is there something else in there no just the bubbles i was feeling this one is a clock so let's get all these out the way and let's get the canvas now this canvas took a bit more of a beating because the clock mechanism was wrapped round it so I might do the iron trick on this one and see how it works though I don't iron very often at all um, so yeah this one is a clock it is special drills again um, you're basically doing these outlines around here uh, and a couple of bits where um, the other numbers would have been so again it's a partial it says it's 35 by 35 but in reality it's just under 30 by 30 so you should be able to find a 12 inch frame for it which is always handy to know and you do get all the mechanisms for the clock now I do like the fact that these all come in a little storage tub which means they're not getting damaged and um, so we've got We've actually got multiple hands in here so we have got some fixings which i guess i'd have to figure out myself because it actually doesn't tell me but you'd fix this behind and then it looks as though we get two of each now well, that could be good if you muck something up couldn't it so looks like we've got two hour hands two minute hands and two second hands though we've only got one nut bolt but hey um, so yeah you've got some hands there I'm not sure which order they go in it doesn't come with instructions but I do like the fact it comes in a tub so that's nice for keeping those straight toolkit wise uh, we've got your basic toolkit but with the added addition of a pair of plastic the black plastic tweezers in this one I say these are all saying new for 2020 and I think all three of these items I didn't see last time I was on their website so I agree that they are new and um, this one has the grand sum of four <laughs> different colours so if you don't like doing a lot of the same colour this might not be for you um, but I think this is going to look I think it looked quite striking 
um, I like the simplicity. So we have the silver rhinestones is number one um, and that is all the green dots. So it's all these lines going through each one. So there's a lot of lines. Then we have the white, which again, they've only got their coats on, but these are the whites that have got the iridescent over the top. Uh, this is the red symbol, so it goes all the way around here uh, and all the way around the middle as well. Then we have um, the purple, and that purple goes where the, where the number one, two, four, five, etc. is missing. And then we have bigger silver ones that go in with the smaller silver ones, just to sort of vary things up. So it's these big yellow dots. So not a lot of difference of diamonds. Um, there are some clocks that they do with the difference, but this for me was the most striking one that I thought once completed. So I thought I'd give this a go. So this one is sort of on canvas, but then when you put your camera mechanism on it, it will be off canvas. So, um, just to run through, we've got the clock, and then I got the gift tags, um, and then I also got the leather, which of course I put it all away, but the leather wolf mural, um, which comes with the hanging strap as well. So that is what I found in their new for 2020. Um, that is a bit more off the page. Um, so let me know what you think. Of course, I'll put links to these individual items and to the category um, down below so that you can have a look. And of course, I'll let you know what they look like when I finish them. Um, so thank you so much for joining uh, and watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.